All right, guys, welcome to my home garage again. This is probably just in continuation, but I've been trying to figure out why the hell my high beams don't work. So take a look. So you turn the lights on, you hit the high beam. Take a look, I'm not lying. I'm hitting the high beam. Nothing is happening. So I've been checking wiring diagrams and I'm ready to condemn a control module. But I'm like, why is this bulb dim? It shouldn't be dim. Also, when you turn on the fog lights and then hit high beams, look, the fog lights turn off. That means the computer thinks the high beams are being activated, but nothing's happening. It's just staying dim. So, another weird thing. If you start turn the car on, so if you actually turn the car on oh, let me see if maybe i can just jam there look all right so let's turn the handbrake off and i'll show you what i mean i don't know if it means anything okay look so the handbrake's off so right now the car thinks it's it's operating so take a look at those lights don't those look like high beams to you there's your normal lights those must be your high beams, right? Why are the high beams on when the lights are off? So, there's your daytime running light bulb, parking bulb. Why is everything on right now? So, I've been searching in the whole system. Look, it's off. And look, you hit high beam, nothing happens. Proof. Nothing's happening. Turn on the headlights into the first position. Nothing happens. Turn it on. Lights, look, they go out. Can't use the high beam still. What is that? Why is that bulb dim? Why? Okay, so. <sighs> I've been messing around with OBD11 today because I, I had a just a suspicion that it could be a coding issue, right? Something must have happened with this car. So... Let me, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to change the coding inside the central control module. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to, uh, I'll explain. Okay, so now I changed coding from 52 to 42. The third line uh, in the second page on the central control, it says active LED parking lamps or DRLs. You, uh, it says uh, that they're LED. This car doesn't have LED, it's halogen. So check this out. So everything's off right now, same as before. Look, my headlights are off. Check out the high beam, okay? I'm turning it on. What do you see working? Look, I'm trying to show you both. Why are my high beams working now? Headlights on, right? Headlights are on. Look, that bulb's not dim anymore. Why isn't it dim? Why was it dim before? Because it thought it had LEDs. Now check it out. My high beams work now. Just like they're supposed to. Super strange. Okay, so now let's do the same thing as before. Pretend the car's on. Alright. So, same thing. My lights are working. Oh, strange. Okay, so now my handbrake's off. Are those my running bulbs? Let's see. Because right now, it is technically, the high beams are on when we are in just chilling. So we're just driving along the road, the lights are off. Why are the high beams on? Turn the lights on, high beams go out, I activate the high beams. Okay. So, something is still not 100%. So, let's go back to the drawing board. So, handbrake back up. Lights go out. I'm going to go back into the menu and see what else could be wrong. I just went back into coding and I turned off DRL lights on with side light side marker light which would technically be this but guess what now my thing is finally off
So take a look. High beams work, signal works. Signal works, other high beam works. Okay. Turn on my lights. Regular lights are working. Signal's working. High beams work. High beams stay on. Like, everything's working now. There's your DRL. So what the heck? The coding's all weird in the system, but whatever, we solved our issue. Okay, so there's our right, just running lights on. So nothing's on. I could do it so that the fog lights come on and do it like old school, like uh, my other car. So let's do that. Right, so here we go. So my running lights are on. There, we got the fog lights on with the running lights. I think it looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? Hey, maybe that will run that. Fog lights stay on with those lights. All right, so that's it. I, I guess it was a coding issue the whole time I'm trying to find a part to replace, but it's just a, a coding issue. I'm gonna keep looking in the system. So we just solved another problem in this car for free. Thank God. So as you guys might see, there's a new hatch here to replace our rusty one. And some problems that I found already are corrosion in the connectors. So it looks like we might have to repin this, fix this up. And it looks like our old one has the old pin, new different style pins, but it looks like the pins may be the same. So we'll transfer them over. But even our headlights, the housings are all missing pins down there. So you might have to replace them or find a solution for this mess. And figure out where all these four pins go. One of them is obviously a ground and then the rest of them are, yeah, that one's the ground. That's the ground right there, which means it's the pin that is uh, missing. So the missing pin has been the ground. It was the ground on the B7. So first thing we're gonna do is just take this cover out. All we do is just pull back. Someone already took the screws out of it, or I would have pretty much. That's all you do for that. So what we want to take from this hatch, because it's a, it's a non LED style, is we want to take the wiring. So we're going to disconnect all these wires all the way and we just want to leave this here and then we'll reconnect it to our new one once we install it so right now i'm just going to disconnect all this stuff and leave it hanging here on the side so we can get our new one on so that's what we're going to do right now what we're going to do now is uh we got three nuts to undo uh, and as you can see it kind of sits on top of here so we will be able to loosen this and pull this up and install our new one so that's what i'm going to do now loosen these three nuts we'll take these two out and only loosen this one. So take these two out, loosen this one. Once you have all the screws out, put some car uh, carpet or cardboard down so you don't break the windshield. And now you can just loosen this and then pull up. Now that you have the new one or used one repositioned, make sure everything works. Get rid of all the spiders that are living here, hang it back up, put the nuts on. And now you see your old one has the marks. So all you gotta do is match up those marks when you tighten the bolts. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get them pretty snug and then I'm gonna adjust it up until I get it perfectly right where it was. It's tightened down but do not do anything yet because you still need to connect the electrical components to this. So you're gonna remove the old harness and then run your new harness in the same place that one was, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And if you want, you can do it slowly. So, uh, you know, remove one at a time and install, remove and, and do everything a little bit at a time. That's, all right guys. Sorry, as you can see, the wiring is run. Looks like it might be missing, it's missing the cover that goes here. But all of it's run, waiting for the taillights. Run, run behind here for your center bulbs and all that. And your trunk. Oh, see that wasn't working before. Now it's working. So the old one must have been damaged on that car. All right, so we'll spray this to clean it up. Have to reconnect all this, wipe all this stuff down, 
and then I'll be ready to test fit the trunk to make sure it closes. So that's where I'm at now.